Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Tom from UDS with another edition of UDS Interviews, our series where we chat to interesting people from around the world. Now, my guest this week is a band who are determined to keep the summer party going long into the autumn, or fall if you're from America. I never guess, I never got why it's fall over there, but autumn over here but we'll make it work we'll make it work and uh yeah they're providing the perfect soundtrack for long sun-soaked days on the beach and they're here to talk all about their brand new single and upcoming ep it is my pleasure to introduce alana aaron and max from arguably the best looking band performing today the horns Wow, what an intro. Yeah, what, I, speak oh, no right, man. I speak no lie. I speak no lie. Guys, how's it going? It's going good. It's going it's great. It's going really good. It's yeah. been a good week. It's been a very good week. Oh, is there any particular reason it's been such a good week? We had our first, well, no, we had we had two shows. So it was our, but uh, two of three of the shows post pandemic. Well, po- I say post pandemic very lightly. We were very yeah, much still yeah. in it. But, you know, uh, to have the ability to do shows. But, yeah, we had two this week. They were so delightful. It's so nice. It's cool to see an audience that's, like, down down to be masked, but, like, Ah, down to be music. That's awesome. They're like, like, we want to see it. We want to be safe. And we're Mm -hmm. here to have a good time. Interesting. So is that is that kind of like what's recommended over your guys' way at the moment is that if you go to sort of in-person events that you still, even something like that, you still have to mask up? Yeah, I mean, when you drink or something, you just pop it off. And some people don't wear it. And, you know, at the end of the day, like, you're only respond. You can only really be responsible for yourself. Um, But, yeah, it is nice. It's like people just seem to still care about it. But it's also like, you know, we're all vaccinated. So we, you know, it's just a little precaution. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. When you get some food, you know, you may as well just grab a few. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's kind of similar over here. We um, uh, we have like these little uh, QR codes that you can download on your phone to prove that you're double vaccinated. And oh, cool. uh, and uh, as long as you've got that or you've got like a negative test, then you can get in. And you don't really need to wear a mask. But, you know, it, as long as you're not like down the front moshing, then, you know, you normally people <laughs> tend to be wearing masks. So I was, yeah. it's, it's awesome that, you know, it sounds like you guys as fans like are... Fans very um very. conscientious very very caring and uh yeah that must that must be a good feeling it is yeah. that's awesome. how it is yeah we have the qr code here well in california i don't know oh, about cool. the rest of the us yeah awesome. awesome i still use my card i have that in my wallet i was oh. gonna oh hipster over here yeah, yeah. Oh, you're fi. The analog one. Uh, yeah yeah i got an analog vaccine <laughs> card dude i've got my i've got mine on a cassette it's just uh you know a voice to text just like explaining that i've got it that's uh that's my vibe yeah. but no but no anyway 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 um for the unfortunate few who may not have heard of you guys yet could you just quickly introduce who the band are sure aaron oh yeah hey i <laughs> i am aaron i am the uh the guitarist for the haunts i am a, i do the drums and I do the singing. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's kind of the, your musical, you know, your musical expertise. But I want to get to know the real you as well. And the way I like to do that is to ask the hard hitting questions. And oh, that boy. is, if each of you individually was a type of sandwich, what kind of sandwich would you say best represents you as a person? Oh, wow. Ooh. Um, I'd be a PB and J because I'm... I'm edible at all hours of the day and uh, and I'm I'm timeless. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Ruben was a close second, but I that was just because I like them. You yeah, know what I mean? They're like, my favorite sandwich as well. So. <laughs> I feel like can we do bagel sandwiches? Do you guys Hell have bagel? yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I want to be a lox bagel. Yeah. What's a, what's a lox bagel? Like oh. a smoked salmon. Yeah, but that's probably because I like it too. 
Whoa, wait, are we, are we are we introducing you to this right now? I've never heard of a Lox bagel before. Wow. But I love... oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> Tell me That's more. Good. Tell me more. Right. It's like basically everything that makes your breath the worst. It can... <laughs> <laughs> That's the best food, though. That is the best food. It's the best. It's just like onions, chives, smoked salmon, cream cheese. It's like yeah. afterwards, you Kitty just kind of like bathe your mouth in listerine. <laughs> <laughs> and then you usually have a coffee with it too so really just oh. like oh. it's it all home. pungent but delicious i love yeah. it i love it i'm gonna have to make one of those this weekend this is a thing that's happening yeah do, do yes. some research Please I, do. I, I, i'm i am in debt to you for this amazing suggestion um, <laughs> yes. aaron what about you i feel like i'm gonna be like the struggle sandwich where it's like two pieces of bread and then you toast the middle bread and then you just like <laughs> soak the middle bread and like some vodka or something. And just... <laughs> I thought you were going to say hot dog. I thought you were going to be like that. Like, you know, you're yeah, like, hot I'll dog's be... a sandwich. Yeah. Hot dog's a sandwich, dude. I'll be like, I'm a Pop-Tart because I want to piss people off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got analog vaccine cards and uh, Pop-Tart sandwiches. This is I'll truly, truly the most hipster of uh, interviews. <laughs> it but, really uh, is. Yeah. I mean, I, I, pop tarts are one of my biggest guilty pleasures. We don't oh, have the, the the same range of choice that you guys have over there. We only have like three flavors, but oh yeah, especially when you're a little bit hungover, just a, a nice little pop tart hits the spot. It hits. Do you the spot. toast it or do you just go in? I mean, I will toast it. They do say on the box you don't have to toast it, but I love myself too much not to put in that extra oh, thirty seconds good. of effort. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's self care right there. Is toasting your own pop tarts. Oh, anyway, we should probably talk about music, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you guys have just released um, your latest single, Stockton. It came out yesterday, I believe, if uh, if I'm yep. not mistaken. And uh, this is a single with a bit of a history and a bit of a story behind the uh, you know the the premise of the song. So could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, if you don't mind me taking it, Alana. Yeah, there. take it over. Go for it. So, so we were on right like a, a month or two before COVID. Uh, we went on a 10 days of 10 shows um, up California, the West Coast and stuff. And uh, we did a show in San Francisco. And there was this thing where we had to like, switch venues. And it was a mess. But, but it ended up being cool. And um, I ended up seeing a friend. I saw two friends. One of them I hadn't seen in a long time. And uh, these two friends, we, we, you know, history says that we get into some debauchery. So, uh, you know, I won't go into too much detail, but it ends up that, like, I see the sunrise. You know, it's one of those evenings uh, that turns into a morning. And as I'm just, like, seeing the sunrise, I'm like, oh, boy, I am in it. Like, I am, I am, uh, I am in for it. <laughs> and I finally go to bed, and I just, it was, like, honest to God, one of the worst hangovers of my life. Like, like, like where I didn't even know what time it was. I felt like emotionally unstable, you know, like just like, oh my God, what do I do? Why do I do this? Why do I keep Meanwhile, doing this? We've like, all been just there. Just to off for a second. Meanwhile, me and Aaron are back at the house, like snuggled up in our own like little corners. Like we had to eat and we were ready for bed. <laughs> so sensible. So mature. Yeah, yes. And I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like to glorify this idea that like, musicianship is is um directly related to like getting wasted um <laughs> but this was an op uh, this was a this was a, a rare occasion i hadn't seen this person in, like three years so it was like i was like okay well I'm, i can't say no um so we so we do this and and i just like you know i feel miserable the next day and it's like 2 p.m we have a show in Stockton, which is like two hours away from San Francisco. Yeah. And I got to find a way. I'm in the city. They're in Oakland, which like you have to cross a bridge. And I like was trying to find a bar. I like my stomach was just like, I didn't throw up, thank God. But like my body was just like, there's no way you can move. So I've called just the most overpriced Uber and, uh, and this like Russian guy drives me to Oakland and I'm like crying in the back seat. <laughs> like, like just like, like, why did you do this? Just, like, why did you put your bandmates at risk? Like, was this really <laughs> worth you big dumb idiot? So 
So then I show up, I see Aaron and Alana, I start crying, they give me a big hug. They bought me um, some fast food, which was much appreciated. Um, we did a very long drive. I think like was a, a, the our little like tour manager person was sick as well, Alyssa. Um, and yeah, then over. <laughs> what? It was, a, it was a mess. Yeah, basically like it was all everything was garbage. And then we're still going to the show in Stockton, which like I mean, this is no disrespect to Stockton, but like you know it doesn't have the greatest reputation. But but we show up at this house and it is amazing. It's this like huge house and it's like full of people and all different types of people and they're cooking tacos and like it's like and then also there were all these like weird jack-in-the-box tacos on the table <laughs> doesn't matter and like oh my god the night just did a 180 like it was one of the best i think it was questionably the best night of the tour like people yeah. like dance so hard and and it was so much fun and like i just gave it all and I got pushed into the drum set, but like, but like people were also like barricading me to make sure like people didn't push me. Like it was just like, it was the coolest. It was the cool, it was the most night and day, day and night <laughs> ever had. Like it was crazy. It was, it's, it was unforgettable. Amazing. Amazing. And so I take it anytime you listen back to that song now, you just are instantly sort of transported back to that, that amazing feeling. I remember yeah. the friendship. That's that's the takeaway from the song is is the is less the hangover than God and more of, of my dear, dear, sweet bandmates and the lovely people in Stockton. So, yes, I mean, it's those nights that you don't plan for that end up being the best. And I think I did read in an interview you did uh, nearer the time that I think it was it wasn't it like a Big Mac and 20 nuggets or something like that that br brought you back to life or something. Yeah, something like that. It was the whole yeah, with the to the whole tour, I was like, there was like a two for five deal that every uh, every show I'd be like, just so everybody knows, <laughs> you, you can go redeem this. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God bless those golden arches. They've uh, they've kept many <laughs> many people going in their darkest hour. But I mean, it's brought about a banger of a track. So uh, so it sounds like all of that hardship and all of that self destruction that was definitely worth it. Yeah, um, of course. Thank you. But uh, it is only the uh, the second track of your upcoming EP uh, titled Ring Me Out, uh, which uh, I, has it got a, a fixed release date now? Uh, do we know when we can expect it? Um, I think no. the end of October. <laughs> oh, yes. not, not long. Not <laughs> long. Oh, yeah, because it's, yeah, yes, yes. September Let's now, yeah it's crazy this year is just like it's simultaneously been the longest 18 months and also the shortest 18 months of my life it's <laughs> weird time is weird now it but is anyway, weird um it's just you know it's just the the craziest time to be alive but we still get a lot of cool music such as this and i've been lucky enough to you know have a sneak preview of the of the tracks but for the people who aren't so fortunate not so lucky yet what can people expect from the rest of the uh the ep well we have Two other songs one of them is pretty pretty brand new like i think we've only played it a few times live before the pandemic hit like maybe once or twice and then the other one is not an older song but we've definitely played it before um i think it's got i think they both have pretty like garage rock sounds i think um not as much surfy as uh like fuss on the bus was but I think they're pretty high energy. I'm excited Absolutely. about. Them. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm hoping you guys can make it over to the UK sometime because I want to hear it live. I want to hear that whole thing live. Hey, me That's too. A goal. Yeah, I mean, uh, I goal. But you no, know, the songs are. Not, what's uh, nice I've heard from people, and I think this is true, is like so we had our first EP, and that was like we were just like okay, these are songs that we play, and then. And then this is like, it's like we're kind of finding the niche more. We're hitting our stride a bit more. And then two, like, like we, we did this kind of with the last EP, but it's usually like we have one hella surfy song, two like pretty safe songs, and then one where we're kind of like trying something a little different. And the little different one on this EP is going to be coming out with the whole EP as well as the other. Yeah. One. But, you know, all in all, I think if you like any of the sound, like we don't, we're, it's not going to be some like, some like, you know, three, four 
you know, jazz track or, you know, it's not, I mean, which could be cool, but you know, but it's, it's not like a huge departure. Um, yeah. but, but, um, but yeah, the songs are great. I'm, I'm really, I'm very pleased with how they sound and, um, and cause like how they translate live is I think the, the, the key, like <laughs> it's a written live, you know, mm. like it's difficult to capture that energy. Um, but I think we do a good job. And I, I enjoy it. Yeah, I do, totally dig it. And uh, and as I say, if you guys ever make it London way, then uh, the drinks are on me and we uh, will have to do this in person. Well, um, I drink a lot, so don't say that. No. <laughs> well, I've heard the stories. I've heard the stories. <laughs> yeah, we, we need a new track. Please inspire us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One night in London, I drank too much. <laughs> See, I actually live by the sea, so that's dangerous for getting drunk by. Like, you know, anytime you get, dr being drunk by the sea is always a recipe for disaster. So, uh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll stick to London. Maybe we'll stick to London. Although there is a river there as well. Any body of water and alcohol is a bad combination. But anyway, anyway, um, one of the things that we've uh, we've all been doing a lot during like the COVID era and everything is consuming a hell of a lot more media, whether it be video games, movies, TV shows, everything like that. And uh, we happen to talk about that at UDS as well. So with that in mind, if you could have one of your tracks featured in anything, whether it be a movie, a video game, TV show, anything or more, what would be your dream thing to be featured in? Oh, wow. I, um. I, can I say all of them? I would love that. Oh, what answer is that? <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, a movie would be cool, but a show, like, it'd be cool to An be like, a song would be cool. And all of a sudden, your song is on there. So, is yeah. there a particular kind of movie or TV show that you would like, you know, would be the dream thing? Mm, I feel like our music would be good and either like a coming of age oh. or like a really stupid comedy. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. I can see that. I have two answers. Is that okay? Absolutely. They're very different. So it's, you know, one agree the, the, the TV show or, or movie, it'd be fun to be like, someone actually approached us a while back about this. This was like two years ago. And it was that they wanted us in a show and they wanted to put the song in, but we would be like in the background of the show, you know, it'd oh, no be way. like the characters oh. are talking and, and we're, we're like playing the set. Um, I think that would be really fun because that would at least like allow, you know, you sight and hearing, you know, and you get yeah, to like yeah. look at us. And I, and it's like a little Easter egg thing. I think that's like a fun, um, but, but the other one that is a little nerdier I, that I, I've wanted to do, I, I used to make chiptune music okay. and I would love like a, like a, not a haunts video, like game, like that's insane, but it would be great. I feel like some of our songs could translate if we like up the BPM, like 40 and, and just do like, do -do 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 -do. like you know, just all the goofy noises, like I think that would be dope. I would definitely uh, get down with that. That, that would, would be, be cool. cool. Uh, although I will say like, speaking of that, it would be cool to be in The Simpsons. Oh, oh yeah, value. that would be that would be legendary. That would, that would be, yeah. I'd die happy. That would be exactly what you're talking about, except we'd be cooler cartoons. Yeah, we'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's 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 primo. The yeah. Okay. I mean, we do have a, po a podcast where we uh, we rate episodes of The Simpsons, so maybe you have to get you guys on that at some point. Oh so, my god! Oh. Yes. Honest to God, I've rewatched The Simpsons. <laughs> Like five times in COVID, I'm I'm literally it's it's on my screen right now. It's behind all of you. I'm, I'm watching. I was literally watching which episode is this? The uh, Home Sweet Home Diddly Dumb Doodly. Oh, uh, se se season seven, episode three. I'm trying to think which one that is. What I don't even know. It's um, uh, what happened? I'm scrolling through because I'm kind of at the beginning of it. We um, we oh, we, we, Marge and Homer go to a spa. And and they think uh, that yep. they um, neglect the children. Yeah, and the kids go and live with the uh, the Flanders. And yes, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. I, I we we've recently wrapped up season seven. We were on season eight. Uh, we do two episodes, two Simpsons episodes per podcast episode. So uh, so yeah, 
put a pin in that. We'll make that happen. We'll make sure yeah, you guys uh, yeah. are on that. We'll uh, we'll do something. One of the oh, things we're, do we're doing re uh, for Halloween is the seven deadliest sins, where we take um, each of the uh, the seven deadly sins and uh, find a character that would you know re best represent that sin. So uh, yeah. Well, that. Watch this space. We'll, we will definitely make something happen. But anyway, Aaron, I've not forgotten you. What would you like to have in uh, one of your songs featured in? Now I'm just thinking of who like fits the sins. I <laughs> pants was gone. Like comic book guys, got to be gluttony, right? Uh, yeah, yeah got to be. Yeah, or Wiggum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, God. Aaron wants to be in the Bible. I yeah, think I like, yeah. I, I want to soundtrack the or Bible. The Torah. <laughs> The soundtrack, the Bible, wow. Yeah. I mean, th think of the exposure. You've got like, what, like a seventh of the earth that will just like instantly be down with your sound just by, you know, proxy. So, yeah, that's good marketing. That's good marketing. But none of the lyrics will be religious. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be like, like, what's this song about boys kissing boys? <laughs> I mean, it's a good message. It's as good as a message as probably anything in the Bible. Right. So, yeah. Oh. Wow, we've we've gone to some places. We have gone yeah. to some places this t today, and I love it. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, naturally, twenty twenty one is kind of you know it's waning down a bit. We're getting to the uh, the second half. But what does the rest of this year and twenty twenty two have in store for you guys? Well, we do have a few more shows coming up, which is exciting. Um, just around LA, I think. And I think the big goal next year is to do some touring outside of the West Coast. So awesome. we had an East Coast tour set up um, like Philly, Boston, New York, Maryland, Baltimore, which got cut. So maybe we'll do that. We'll come to England. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? That would be so cool. That, that would be very cool. That'd be very cool. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Rory out of the van. He doesn't want to say again. Oh no, no. That, uh, but yes, that. <laughs> well, also, this next month is our uh, is our is our claim to fame. We always, oh, right. uh, even oh, though yeah. we're not that spooky, actually, of a band. Uh, there's something about the haunts and Halloween that uh, go together swimmingly, without a doubt. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, well, given that it's that time of year, what is there a particular Halloween film that you uh, that you would recommend? Oh, um, well, there's the classic Halloween. That one's good every time. Absolutely, absolutely. I feel like they make a new one every year too. Okay, the Maybe OG, the original. One. Yeah, the John Carpenter right. one is the uh, is the best. Yeah, I think Scream might be my favorite because it's pretty funny too. It is. I love a good, a good yeah. like. La like also anyone that gets killed in a in a dog door uh <laughs> when, the, when the garage goes out I mean, that's classic that's you know unforgettable one that is um, like, i had it with like one of the bad movies like like a troll, troll two or something oh, yeah. Oh, troll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, or nice. like uh, did you ever see there was a movie called santa's slay sla yeah. no, <laughs> yeah. no. That's in Santa kills all these people. It's like oh, it's. I remember seeing in like a blockbuster that'll probably date. You know, <laughs> um, I was like, oh my god, I got like I was kind of freaked out because I you know seeing Killer Santa as like a six year old. You're like, you're like what? I mean, Futurama <laughs> kind of did that as well with the the Santa bot. Who oh just, yeah, yeah, very good point. Yeah, and that thing actually kind of freaked me out too. Now that I think about it, when I was yeah. younger. Yeah, yeah, I mean, his his standards were just too high, so everyone was naughty. So yeah, yeah. and also Zoidberg <laughs> was Jesus in one episode, so that's you know that's always a, a good Bible message. But but yeah, no solid choices. I'm not sure if you got because obviously every Netflix in every country is a bit different, and it may yeah. be a bit culturally culturally locked. But there is a movie called Cockneys vs Zombies, uh, which is basically do you know um, uh, Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins, where he's like sort of the mm -hmm. chimney sweep, like all right, yeah. uh, governor sort of thing. It's basically like if there there was an entire film made of characters like that go like kind of like Shaun of the Dead I don't know if you guys have seen Shaun of the oh, Dead yeah. but, but like sort of you know the rougher end of London but it's hilarious it's got a uh, chase scene between a guy in like um, well, I don't know what you guys call it over there but you know the walking sticks that are like the four stick walking sticks where you know like they... oh yes a uh, walker I think yeah like, like a walker there's a, there's a chase scene between that and one of like the classic slow walking zombies but they play it over like the <laughs> tensest music it's very funny would recommend if you uh, if you get access okay. to it Cockney 
Harkness versus Zombies. Harkness versus Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. we, we shall watch that. It's very yeah. good. Would recommend. Would recommend. But uh, but yeah, that's that's enough Halloween talk. I have one <laughs> other question to ask you, and it's about yeah. as dumb as the other questions I've asked you. So it's pretty oh, on brand, it. and that is we are UDS, which stands for Upside Down Shark. You can kind of see it behind my head there, but yep. uh, it's a stupid name. We're in way too deep to change it now, so it's just something we rock. But with that in mind, if you guys had a favorite shark, whether it be a movie shark, whether it be a shark from nature, it could be any shark in the world, what would you say your favorite shark is? Megalodon. Oh. Right away. Right oh, away. Go go home. <laughs> ready to go. You can't get much bigger than Megalodon, so yeah. yeah. Okay, I do have a favorite shark, though. Oh, hit me. Uh, because my dad goes fishing sometimes like he's not a fisher but he goes fishing yeah, yeah, yeah. um and when i was young he went fishing and he caught a hammerhead shark like the oh. entire boat had to come over and lift the thing up they let it go but yeah, it was yeah. like huge I was gonna say and that was your picture wow. and i was like <laughs> yeah so that's my favorite shark because i i love that story that's amazing that is so yeah. cool also kind of terrifying i think if yeah. like i was Fair. fishing and i saw arguably the scariest looking shark because that thing does not look like it should exist so <laughs> so yeah that's that's intense that's so cool what yeah. about you aaron uh i gotta pick between two classics either the baby shark or the tornado <laughs> shark <from Sharknado. laughs> i mean classic i don't know if you would call them classic they're, they're very very cool sharks but cinema icon baby yeah. shark is baby it's it's so weird it's so weird how baby shark is one of those things that i feel like has so much love in the states like loads of bands i've i've interviewed from the us love baby shark but if you mention that thing in the uk you will get you will get punched people hate baby shark <laughs> right yeah. so. but, Aaron, yeah. take it back <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna punch you i i i'm very ambivalent to baby shark if you know if 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 it, if it teaches you that sharks can have families and are pretty cool and not scary <laughs> then then uh, by all means like you know let the baby shark live but um but yeah it's weird it's just so weird how it seems to get so much more love your way but i'm i'm down with shark lado sharks i'm down with baby shark i'm down with megalodon i'm down with hammerhead all sharks are cool all sharks are cool uh, so they eat you until they eat you, and then I think don't you have to like jam them in the eye or something like that, and then they kind of let you go. Focus I the don't nose. Know. Is people it the eye? Say, people say punch him in the face, but it's like, dude, that's not gonna fucking happen. Like, if a shark is gonna eat you, you're done. Like, I yeah. surf. I don't know if you're in the water, and, like, how hard do you punch? Yeah, yeah, hell no. If a shark eats you, it eats you. I'm yeah. sorry, we're not all soul surfer. You know, that's just part of it. I mean, like, we're in we're in that you know we're in their home when we're in the sea, so you know yeah. it, we're kind of fair game. So yeah, I'm. I mean, yeah. I, if a shark wants to eat me, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop him. I probably will try and stop him, but probably fail. I wear salt when I go in the like extra salt, like just it's like, <laughs> hey, you know, if you're gonna have me, I want you to remember this meal. You know, you, you uh, you, what you do is you take two slices of bread, you put one on your chest and one on your back, yeah. and you make a mac sandwich, yeah. and, and I soak how... myself in vodka, a la Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it when something comes full circle. We started with sandwiches. We're going to end with sandwiches. Yes. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, it's been an you. absolute blast chatting to yeah. you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.